Hey kids, are you ready for an exciting adventure? Have you ever wondered how rivers shape our world and the amazing journey they take? Today, we're going on a fun and exciting adventure, following a river from its source all the way to the sea. We'll see how it changes and grows along the way. Buckle up, because this journey is going to be amazing. We'll discover so many cool things about rivers. But first, don't forget to check out our river teaching resources at Wild Goose Education and Starbeck Education. First, let's start at the source. Do you know where a river begins? Imagine we're high up in the mountains, where our river begins as a tiny stream of water. This is the very beginning of its journey. This is called the upper course. It's where the river is just starting out. Here, the water is fresh and fast, tumbling over rocks and carving out deep valleys and canyons. The river is full of energy and life. Sometimes you might even see a spectacular waterfall. Waterfalls are like nature's slides, where the water rushes down with great force. How cool is that? Waterfalls are one of the most exciting parts of a river's journey. As the river flows down the mountains, it reaches the middle course. This is the next stage of its journey. Now, the river is a bit wider and slower. It's not rushing as much as it did in the mountains. It starts to bend and twist, creating curves called meanders. These meanders make the river look like it's dancing through the landscape. And guess what? The river is joined by smaller streams called tributaries, making it even bigger. These tributaries are like friends joining in on the adventure. Imagine all those little streams coming together, just like friends holding hands. They make the river stronger and more powerful. Next, we reach the lower course. This is the final stage of the river's journey before it meets the sea. Here, the river becomes really wide and slow. It's taking its time as it flows through flat land. The land is flat and the river spreads out, creating a beautiful landscape. It's like the river is relaxing after its long journey. It might even form a delta, which looks like a fan or a triangle, as it deposits all the soil and rocks it has carried along the way. Deltas are like the river's way of saying goodbye to the land. This is where the river meets the sea, at the river mouth. It's the grand finale of the river's journey. Isn't it amazing how a river can start as a small stream in the mountains and end up flowing into the vast ocean? It's like a tiny trickle growing into a mighty force. Rivers carve paths, create valleys and canyons, form waterfalls, meanders and deltas, all while providing water and life to everything around them. They are truly nature's artists. So next time you see a river, remember the incredible journey it has taken from its source to the sea. Think about all the places it has been and the wonders it has created. And who knows, maybe one day you'll get to explore a river and see all these wonders for yourself. There's so much to discover and learn. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, kids. I hope you had as much fun as I did. See you next time for more fun and learning. Bye, keep exploring and stay curious.